Joel chapter 2 from verse 12 to 18. The prophet Joel outlines a positive program for a sincere and honest return to God for those who have forsaken him. Return to me with your whole heart. Friends, today we enter into Lent, a season of spiritual cleansing and renewal. In the weeks between now and Easter, by withdrawing ourselves a little from our lives in this world, we will seek to find greater fullness in our life in Christ. He has a plan for Lent, a plan to pour out to us graces of repentance and humility and joy in His presence. Truly, if we leave this season in tune with God's plan, we will be transformed people by the time we sing our Easter Alleluias. Every day, in every culture throughout the world, people willingly practice self-denial. Parents work long hours to provide for their families. Students discipline themselves to long periods of intense study. Athletes harden their bodies and abstain from food and drugs that might impair their performance. Many people sacrifice even their health and their home life in an effort to improve their economic condition. Friends, self-sacrifice is universally practiced and when undertaken for a lofty goal can be noble and commendable. Unfortunately, self-sacrifice is not always fruitful, not always joyful, and many efforts begun in hope and idealism have ended in bitterness and cynicism. Self-sacrifice in Lent should and can be different. Consider this prayer from one of our Lenten liturgies. Let us enter the season of Lent in the spirit of joy, giving ourselves to spiritual strife, cleansing our soul and body, and controlling our passions as we limit our food, living on the virtues of the Spirit. Let us persevere in our longing for Him, rejoicing while with spiritual joy. Friends, the keynote to this call is joy the joy of letting the Lord make us his own fruitful garden. It is the joy of allowing Christ to lead us in practical ways to weed out self-centered pursuits that can choke our spiritual life. It is the joy, sometimes bittersweet, being pruned of sinful behavior so that the fruit of the Spirit can flourish in our lives. Undeniably, it requires self-sacrifice, yet its rewards are worth the effort. Is there anyone who doesn't desire to experience the joy that flows from allowing the Spirit to blossom into the fullness of what God intends to be? Yet, it is impossible to hold so tightly to one's right to exercise free, to exercise free will to do as we please, to relax, to enjoy worldly efforts, comfort, that we remain insensitive to the Spirit of God. When we do this, we are robbed of the joy that God would give us. During the season of Lent, let us embrace Jesus and ask Him to break our bondage to the fleshly drives we so love to indulge. Instead, let us hunger and thirst for God alone. As we come before the Lord with sincere desire for Christ to be formed in us, God will bless us and we will know joy. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for offering us the joy of forgiveness. We turn to you with all our hearts 
and place our hopes in your transforming grace. Amen. Thank you so much, my dear friend, for listening. Please do remember to subscribe. God bless you.